Have you ever tried to print wine? Today we are going to. Let's see how I sliced it. All right, guys, this mod over here is supposed to be a lamp for your empty bottle, let's say in this way. This is from the Gentleman's, two, uh, Gentleman's Bar 2 at Estelle Flix. So you can check the link of the mod on the description, okay? Uh, we have some tips in here. If you are watching those slicing videos as a series, maybe you are remembering something that we already worked on. If you are seeing this for the first time, nice to meet you, <laughs> and also you may uh, see something new today. Uh, first of all, my uh, previous recommendations, we have to reduce the layer height, is the first one, because we have a lot of smooth parts on the surface of this module. So as we in decrease the layer height, we are going to see less the layer lines on this print, okay? So let's reduce this. Uh, we actually are going to spend more time printing it, but the result is going to worth it, in my opinion, okay? So 0.16 is something fine. We If we reduce to 0 0.12, it's going to increase a lot the printing time. So a good... Uh, midpoint in here is the 0 0.16. Uh, I don't personally uh, think we need to increase top and bottom layers, but the walls we may have because we are going to put the bottle in here. So this print uh, needs to sustain this weight. So three walls should be fine, but if you want to be safer, especially if you are selling this, use uh, four walls. If you are printing for yourself, I would do three for save some filament and also save some time. But if you are selling, I prefer to be safer because this is going to another place, another home and a client, okay? So it's good to be safer in this case. Uh, let's imagine that we are printing for selling, okay, purpose. So let's put in here, four walls, four perimeters. In the infill, we can keep uh, geroid. I don't think we need to change this for Honeycomb, for example. That's uh, a recommendation for strength on 3D print, but we don't need to change in here. I think geroid, it's fine because it's a empty bottle, okay? It's not that, that complicated. Um, let me see. We have a good first layer. We don't need to change anything. Speed as well, you can do the speed settings depending on your printer. Okay, I think we are good in here. Uh, for this printer, the Ender 3v3 SE, I would change this, like this one. We have more space between the edges of the bed, okay? So I would do it in this way. And also another thing that I would change in here, uh, we talked about this in the Valentine's Day drop. Uh, we have some, um, thin parts in here, like this splash regions. So we could do uh, a infill setting in here, like solid fill threshold area. So everything that is smaller than 10 square millimeters, we are going to do a solid infill. Let's see if 10 is okay. Let's first slice it. This was the setting does. Uh, when uh, the software recognize some perimeters uh, with a area smaller than this, this is going to be solid. So I want to increase the strength on these points. They are thin, they may are fragile. So I want to increase uh, this uh, the strength on these parts. So let's increase this value. 20 millimeter square millimeters. And slice it again. All right, let's see 20. And now I think we are okay. Look in here, also here. And those are were the points that I were concerned in here. Okay. And now, guys, we may have to change something uh, as well in this part. In here, we have a lot of area. So the perimeter is really uh, long. So the nozzle takes some time for doing this. But uh, the print is going to this part in here. And now we have a smaller layer time. So we could do something about cooling. So in the filament settings, cooling, we are going to enable auto cooling. And then 
if the layer time is smaller than 10 seconds, that's what I recommend you. Even if you are printing in a uh, average printer as Ender 3 v 3 c or if you are printing a K1, uh, a X1, I don't know. If you have a faster printer, you definitely should do this. If you are print uh, with a Ender 3, for example, you may have to, but you uh, may don't need. But you can uh, activate this part, uh, this feature, and let's see how it goes. For example, let's see the speed settings, and in this case, we need it. Okay, so to increase the cooling on your print, you should uh, enable this option and put 10 seconds. That uh, that's the value that I recommend you for faster printers, for example. And this one, uh, you are not going to lose anything. This is only going to help you. Okay. Uh, you may have some um, changes or difference in the color of the filament because when you are printing uh, faster and slower, the finishing of the filament is going to change because of the time of the filament takes to uh, leave the nozzle. So much time the filament takes in, into the nozzle, the filament is going to be shiner. So if you are, if you are print uh, a lot faster, uh, this is going to be more mate, okay? Uh, the color is going to be more mate. So uh, if you want to reduce this effect, you may increase your temperature, okay? But don't only do this if you are having color trouble. If you print this and we, you have a color in this region and when it starts to reduce, we you have another color or uh, how can I do this? You can reduce this effect just by going on filament settings and then increasing a little bit the temperature and then the filament is going to have a similar color all the ones even if you reduce the speed. Okay? This is only a tip. You don't need to do this uh, right away just if you have this problem, right? So guys, I hope you could learn something from this video and I see you in the next one. I hope you guys enjoy it. Those slicing videos are an initiative from STL Academy, which is the educational project from Astelflix. So if you guys want to learn more about 3D printing, you could check our description and look at STL Academy courses. And don't forget, see you guys at the next slicing.